I ain't gonna lie, I just ate shit. I just bust my ass. Thank God I had this helmet on. But that happened, I fucked my bike up. Pedaling mad fast, right? While I'm pedaling fast, I'm standing up pedaling. The pedal just stopped spinning, so my foot slipped off the pedal. And I'm going like 30 miles an hour, my foot slipped, slipped off the pedal. I, I hit the ground, so I'm going like this. Flew into a car, boom, hit the car. Head first, thank God I had this helmet on. Shit. I said you feel Mr. Peter. Uh full of angst and shit flowing down man, but I'm a fucking motor out here. Shit. Like Michael Jack with the one glove on that motherfucker. Cause my damn job had no damn band-aids or supplies. So I had to come up with my own little thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the ghetto, you know we put things together. So I just put some tissue on there with the glove on so it doesn't get infected, no dirt inside, and uh, it held up pretty well. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as you guys can see, it finally happened. It finally happened. Your boy bust his ass. I bust my fucking ass, man. Hopefully, I can hear because sometimes you're covering this. I don't know where the mic is on this phone. Uh, hopefully, I ain't covering it. But um, yeah, I finally bust my ass yesterday, man. And listen, man, I was thugging it out. I bought this bike in like January, bro. Or something like that. I bought this bike around like, yeah, I think January, December-ish type shit. And I never bust my ass before, bro. But the first thing I said when I got this bike, I was like, you know what? I know one day I'm going to bust my ass. I, I don't know when. I don't know if it will be my fault because I'm a really good driver. But I said, I know one day it's going to come. It's bound to happen. It happens to everybody. Whether you're riding a skateboard, a bike, a car scooter skates whatever you are going to bust your ass one day it's like you have to it's inevitable you will bust your ass no matter how safe you try to be no matter what you do you will have your day you will bust your ass every dog has his day yesterday was my day and boy it was a hell of a day and boy for everybody that's seen it oh we you had yourself a show baby i should have charged you for Charge your ass for that show. That was a pay per view right there, baby. Like, hey, it had me. And let me tell you guys the story. Listen to me, please. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's comedy. So I'm on the bike, right? Now, me, I'm a speedhead. I love going fast. I love going top speed. My battery be dying quick, but fuck it, baby. Let me enjoy the ride. Let's enjoy the ride. Have fun. The back of my bike and let the good wind blow through your tail. So anyway, I'm on the bike, right? I'm flying, flying on that motherfucker. I'm in pedal assist five, the highest pedal assist, going to the most exquisite, fastest speed, sub light in the sound. I'm going 30 miles an hour, bombing this fucking hill on my way to work, feeling good. <laughs> Now, let me tell you guys something. I never used to wear a helmet riding my bike. The first, like, three, four months I had my bike, I never wore a helmet. I would be in Manhattan with all that traffic, going fast, cutting through cars, buses, trucks, no helmets. I'd be bombing all kinds of hills, riding on the edge of bridges right by the water, no helmets. And thank God, by the grace of God, I never, ever fell, crash, bust my millet. Or well, I would have been Swiss cheese in that motherfucker, right? I never wore my helmet. My brother called me one day. I told him I got to eat, but he like, oh, yo, bro, that's what's up, bro. Do you got it? How fast some things go? I tell him how fast they go. He like, yo, bro, you, you wearing the helmet? I'm like, nah. He like, yo, bro, trust me, get a helmet. I'm like, I bet. No, I was listening to it, but I wasn't really thinking too much of it, right? So anyway, I'm still riding with no helmet, right? I get to this bank, Chase Bank. I was doing security at Chase Bank. I had another guy that was in there. He was looking at my bike. He's like, that's a nice bike, bro. 
I was like, yeah. He's like, um, you wear a helmet when you ride that thing? I was like, nah. He's like, listen, man, get a helmet. Because I had a friend that was riding dirt bikes before. And he, he was doing wheelies. He fell on his head. He became a vegetable. Like, he was on life support. And he died. I was like, oh, shit. Once I heard that shit, I was like, right, I'm definitely getting a helmet. I was afraid thinking about getting one from what my brother told me. But then I really got one when I heard that story. I was like, yo, bro, it's true. And snap of a finger, I could just fall, hit my head, and become a vegetable just like that. And it don't even have to be me responsible for the crash. Somebody could just hit me. And then I had, I had I heard another story of one one of my coworkers. He was like a car hit him two years ago. He had like this little cheap helmet on. He fell on his head and snapped in half, but still saved his life though. So I was like, yeah, let me get a helmet. So I ordered me a helmet. I ordered me a good helmet. I got the um the motorcycle helmet, a good shit too. You feel me? I'm gonna show y'all in a few. But I got a good helmet, right? It was only like sixty dollars on Amazon, bro. Every day I wear this helmet, I'd be like, yo, I'm wearing this helmet. I'm wearing this helmet. Like, I'm not risking it. I'd be thinking about, like, in a snap of a finger, I could really be Swiss cheese. I could really be dead. Like, it's not worth it. Wear a helmet. A lot of people don't want to wear a helmet so they feel look goofy or some shit. But I got one that look cool. I look like a Power Ranger, nigga. Fuck. I'd be looking cool pulling up in that motherfucker back. Shit. Thinking I'm a black ball. You better go. Shit, I am. But yeah, so. Yesterday, I'm bombing this hill. I'm going. Fast, I'm going 30 miles an hour and I'm standing up too, pedaling with all my strength, getting all of that speed, bombing that hill, feeling good. Got my music in my ear. I'm chilling, nigga. Tell me why I'm pedaling, right? I'm pedaling, I'm pedaling. Tell me why, why I'm pedaling, standing up. The fucking pedals just stop. Y'all know how, like, if you were on a bike, you know what I'm talking about. No, you pedaling, pedaling, pedaling. And then the bike just stop. Like, the pedals just stop. And then your fucking foot slip off. And sometimes you catch yourself, like that always, it only happens to me and I catch myself. This time I didn't catch myself because I wasn't expecting it at all. You feel me? So I'm sitting at Pelham Pelham standing go fast, yeah, 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 on that hill, bombing at 30 miles an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit just stopped. Once it stopped, my foot flew off the pedal like whoop. My shit said whoop, flew off the pedal, bro. At that point, my foot hit the ground. I'm running with the bike at this time at 30 miles an hour going down hill. That motherfucker just lost control. I'm losing control. That shit was a handlebars like this. Boom. I'm like, oh, fuck. There's a whole line of cars right there on the side of me. The bike going in the car's direction. I'm like, oh, fuck. This is not about to end good. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, the bike going, 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 going. I felt like I could have I got control of it, but I couldn't, bro. It was weird. And it was moving like slow motion. It was weird. Anyway, so I see myself going into the car. I just started bracing myself. Oh, yeah, this is about to happen right now. So, boom. The, my front wheel hit the car first. Boom, right? Next thing you know, I just see my head flying towards the car next. Boom! Smash my head on the car. Thank God I had that fucking helmet on, bro. If I did not have that helmet on, ooh, I probably would have broke my nose. Something would have happened. I smashed that motherfucker to the car. That shit was loud too. It said, bang! Right? So anyway, boom, that happened. I'm like, oh shit. So now I'm at a complete stop. I'm just like in shock. Like, what the fuck? That just happened? I felt no pain or nothing at the time. I'm just chilling because I had so much adrenaline. So I'm chilling. The bike jammed under the car. I'm jammed under the bike. So now I'm like, oh, shit, how the fuck I'm going to get up? Anyway, I'm struggling to get up, struggling to get up, struggling to get up, right? And that's when I noticed my ankle was under the bike because at first I didn't even notice. I didn't feel shit. I didn't even feel my ankle hurting until like way, way later in the day, hours after. And I was like, why my ankle hurting? Now I realized my ankle was under the bike. All right, so anyway, I get up, bro, and there was this guy in front of me that heard the crash and he seen the crash. He did not even ask me if I was okay or nothing. He looked back to him and asked nothing. He kept walking, dumb bitch ass nigga. Even though it was all good because I was good, I don't need nobody help you feel me. I got God help, nigga. I'm a fucking God, nigga. You feel me? And I'm in the black wolf ring. I heal stupid fast. But anyway, I got up. I was like, oh, shit. Like, I'm a psychopathic nigga. So I started dancing. I was doing the whip and the name. they like, ah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just in case anybody has seen it, they want to laugh. Just know I got up and I'm good. I'm doing the whip and the name. And you're mocked, bitch. But anyway, so anyway, I picked my bike up. My bike fucked. The front fender fucked. The whole, one of the whole pedals came off the motherfucker. Fucked up the handlebar a little bit on the side me. And I was excited because I was going to do some Uber Eats today. Now today, I'm going to go get a new pedal and I'm healing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, anyway, so I get to work. I look at, no, no, no. So I get up. I look at my hand, right? I didn't even feel nothing, but I just look at my hand. I see that big ass gash with the blood meat. You see the tissue beef. And that's what I showed you guys. And then my shoulder was hurting like a bitch. I thought my shit was bruised up crazy, but it just had a little red mark. And that was it. And I couldn't even move my shoulder at all yesterday. But now I'm able to move it. That's how fast I heal, y'all. I'm really the black wolf ring. I heal hella fast. Like, no joke. But anyway, 
Um, I couldn't pedal no more because it was fucked up, so I had to use the throttle the rest of the way to work. I made it to work, and I'm sitting there, I'm chilling. I get there, they got no bandages. I'm like, bro, so I had to go to the bathroom, clean out the wound. That shit was hurting and shit, but I did it. Used some soap, some water, did it. Got some tissue, um, to put my put it under the glove and shit. Boom, made that work. I was able to get to work. Everything running smooth. I'm like six hours into, I'm like five hours into work. Now I notice my ankle start hurting. I'm like, what the fuck this shit hurting for, right? So I tried to massage. I'm rolling it around and shit. And then that just made it way worse. It got so bad to the point I can't even walk. I mind you, I'm walking the whole shit fine. I couldn't even fucking walk, y'all. Literally, I couldn't walk. It was that bad. I'm like, ah, I had to like go in the booth and just sit down. I couldn't even work the gate. I had to sit down. The rest of the shit, that shit was fucking hurting y'all so I, I got home last night i thought of the bike home to the, well i thought the bike to the train station and then i took the train to like a couple blocks to my crib now i hopped back on the bike thought it the rest of the way made it home came to the crib went straight to fucking sleep i cleaned my wound first on my hand i went straight to sleep i've been sleeping for like 12 hours now yeah probably 10 11 hours now and my ankle was good it's not 100 percent, but it's like 80 percent out of 100 right now i heal super fast this type of ankle injury to anybody else, it should take them at least minimum two weeks to a month to heal from. Because my shit was swollen. Today, I feel 80% already. I heal very fast. I don't know what it is, but I'm different, y'all. And I mean that. I'm, I'm different. I'm a different human being. I heal stupid quick. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy how I heal. It's weird. So, shout out to Aaron Rodgers. She probably not even cheating, man. He probably just heal quick. Like, man, he probably got the same blood move. You feel me? And I'm warm blood, so that warm blood probably help it heal. And I turned the heat on too because the heat makes things heal too. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the aftermath of my bike and all that. I just want to thank God that I'm still alive. I want to thank God that I wore that helmet. I want to thank my brother for telling me about the helmet and that guy on Chase Bank for telling me about the helmet. And um Amazon for having that having the helmet at a low price. It's like it was meant for me to get it, man. You feel me? And I want to thank God for real. But I'm gonna show you guys the damage of the bike. So this is the front fender. That thing is bent up crazy. Y'all even think I could fix this. Um, you can see the little streets, streets on the bike. <coughs> um, you can see that. Uh, not too much damage was done. This is a strong ass bike, I'm trying to tell you. But yeah, that's the handlebar damage right there. This bike is really strong. Like, it's unbelievably strong. This bike is insane, bro. This is really a Batmobile. Highly armored Batmobile, my nigga. 007 bike. Get you one of these motherfuckers. Go track F2. Shout out to Dean. You hear me? Pedal completely off. Look like these motherfuckers got chewed off. You hear me? Shit, look at that. Mm. Came off the chain. All that the chain came off that motherfucker. That shit swaying. Lost his chain, man. Got his chain snatched. You hear me? Um... But that's pretty much all that happened to the bike. The chain came off. That's easy. I can put that on myself. The fender got fucked. All I gotta do is take that off and order a new one. And then the pedal, I'm about to go get that replaced right now. And then the handlebar, I might just keep that like that. Because I know I'm going to fall some more. So don't need for me to get a new handlebar just for just to fall again. So I'm going to just keep this handlebar still. It's not that serious. But that's pretty much all that happened to the bike, y'all. And um, this is the helmet that I got. And the helmet, what side did I hit my face on? It was this side over here. Oh, uh, you can't really even see no damage to it. I don't see no damage to the helmet at all. This is a good helmet, man. I don't see no damage to it. This is a strong helmet. You feel me? No damage done to it, man. So we're still rolling with that. Let me show you guys this helmet. This is a cheap helmet right here. This, do not get these helmets. I mean, only get this if you have absolutely no money and you have no choice. Like, you're on a low, low, low budget. And like, this is all you could get. Get this because something is better than nothing. But this thing is, like, soft. Like, one fall on your head, this is going to snap. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And it don't even protect your face. This protects your face, your head, everything. So, get this, man. Even, even your eyes. But, yeah, that's that, man. But anyway, I'm about to head out and go get this drink prepared. I want to do some Uber Eats today. I might not be able to now. I probably could get a little odd version. But, yeah, man. I'm about to see. I might probably going to take this off right now. But this thing is dented in. But, um, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take this off and just order another red fender. I mean, front fender. But that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video, man. More about this video, man. Get a helmet. If you out here and you riding bikes, any type of transportation, bro, and you're not wearing a helmet, get a helmet, bro. I'm telling you right now. It's, it's a matter between life and death. All it takes is for you to fall on your head one little time, bro. And when you fall off of vehicles, it, you tend to land head first for some reason. So I'm telling you right now, 
get a helmet. It's, 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 it's not worth you losing your life for, for no reason when, you, when it could be avoided. Get a helmet. Simple as that. Who cares if you feel a little goofy? They got some cool ones that look cool. Get one that got some spikes in there or something. Uh, or got a fake mouth or something like that. Some sharp teeth. Do whatever you want to do. Get yourself a helmet. I'm telling you right now. Look cool. You look like a Power Ranger. You don't want to look like a Power Ranger, man. <coughs> get a helmet. I'm telling you right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.